Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It's a lovely sunny day here after a uh, pretty few weeks of rain. I don't know if you're aware of what's going on quietly behind closed doors, but um, I'm not going to get into this one too much, but I'm going to leave this up for you to have a look. I'll leave all the links in the description um, here. Okay, we address you, fellowship, a fellow leader under the establishment in which members are attorneys, physicians, public, general activists who made the choice to exercise their democratic right not to receive the, and who feel the great pressure hard and legal are export, exerted upon them on the belief that the members, ministers, senior public elected representatives, heads of cities and more, Wish to begin with basic knowledge and subject on the matter. D is an innovative medical treatment which only has only received, recently obtained FDA approval in an emergency procedure only, an approval that is not final and with details of 22. Additionally, it is clear to all medical factors that the subject of this long range influence of the treatment was not scientifically tested, testing and research, a long time range effect and the safety of the treatment and its recipients are unknown. It is important to state that never known until now were administered in the entire world by this medical technology and the introduction of this synthetic to the body. All the previous are operated in a t totally different manner by the introduction of a deactivated or weakened and natural arousal immunity system against it, as detailed by a senior virologist. The risk accepted by this innovative medical treatment, treatment is hereby enclosed as Annapex 1 to my letter. Code. A medical ethics code issued based on laws under which the criminals were judged for conducting horrible medical experiments during the Second World War. In the physician's trial, physician's trial, known as the later constituted the base for the Helsinki Declaration legislation as well as the base for the parents' patients' rights laws in. It is our intention to present to you all the details of the state. All right. In informed consent to participate in a medical experiment, first principle of the Neuromode code is willingness to and informed consent by the person to receive treatment and participate in an experiment. The person is supposed to activate freedom of choice without the intervention of a factor employing force, deceit, fraud, threat, solicitation, or any other type of binding or coercion. With the heads of Ministry of Health as well as the PM presented the VC here and began the VC of all residents, the VC were not advised that in place they were taking part in a medical experiment and that their consent is required for this under the Nuremberg Code and it's only and only when it became apparent that indeed the PM signed an agreement with the company, the manufacturer, it was first published and also stated by the PM that it is indeed a medical experiment and that this is was the essence of the agreement this, as a matter of fact, is a on human beings performed without informed consent and under severe, blatant offence of the Nuremberg Code. So there you go. I'll just say that little bit. I'll leave the rest in the links for you. Apparently, this has been shared to all media around the world, and I can't find anything on searches. There's just nothing. All I get is the trials from the 40s. Um, I'm not finding anything. I'm, I might ring up um, the local one around here and see if there's anything. Um, the extortion of social pressure, threat to prevent entrance to, social, to entertainment, leisure, receipt from services from the community, artist opinion letters, public representations, who in every corner elect to make the propaganda excessively, aggressively, an insulting manner, even proposed punishment and sanctions. 
vehicles with public address systems roaming the streets, urging people to arrive for VCs, conversation agreement notices by health insurance companies, even setting appointments for VCs without insurance wish and more. Forbidden incentives for the VC, receiving free night and hotel vacation days and more offered by various companies owners to their employees, discounts on various business establishments, privates, publics, as well as benefits cards promoted by the GV. So the PM also stated more than once that they were taking part in an innovative medical experiment for the benefit of all world citizens who for some reasons do not rush to obtain the above stated medical treatment and they are looking forward to seeing experiments. The same is true regarding the agreement signed by the with the company blacked out in many places raising questions regarding the agreements reached by the and the company Michelle yeah so this has gone to the international criminal court and I'll be watching this pretty close this was um also We ask to bring your attention that a copy of this document will also be forwarded to all our media channels worldwide because the Newman Code violation is relevant in all countries of the free world. And as a final note, it shall be stated only recently a decision was reached in the European Parliament on 7th, I think that might be the 7th of the 1st, not 7th, 7th. 21, instructing all authorities not to activate any pressure or solicitation on persons to take the in any way. Therefore, whatever is good for the advanced European state certainly is good for the balance is self explanatory. Um Yeah, uh so I'm not really finding anything on, you know, major news sites. I'm only finding it on blogs. Um so there's the code. So yeah, I'll leave this with you. As I said, I can't find anything about on any sort of major world news page. I'm only finding it on blogs. Okay, wherever you are in the world, thanks for watching. You have a good day. Bye.